Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do these Leco Premium problems on my Patreon if you want to check that out. And also I have a Discord that I'm trying to grow. I like my Discord. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Um, shortest distance to a character. So this is a pretty popular problem. It looks cool. 681 likes. Uh, given a And it's easy. So it, it's pretty easy. Um, I got an example over here we'll go through. Given a string S and a character C, return an array of integers representing the shortest distance to the character C in the string. Okay, so we're given a string S. Could be any string, just a bunch of letters. All the letters are lowercase. There's only uh, between one and a thousand letters. Um, and then we're given a character C. Okay, so E is in this example, and then the string is lovely code. So there's a bunch of E's in here, right? There's an E here. Sorry, there's an E here. There's an E here, here. And then there's an E here, four E's. Okay. Um, there's guaranteed that this this character they give us is at least in this string once. So if it's a thousand or ten thousand um, characters, the string, this letter they give us has to be in it at least once. Okay. So um, what we want to return, let's go through an example here, is um, you know the distance between the closest instance of this character and each individual character in the string so they want us to you know go through the string letter by letters and find the distance from the current letter to the closest instance of the character they give us so the closest instance to this l is obviously this e not these ones these ones are farther away um so we do uh, this is position three minus position zero so that would be three right um, this is position three minus position one, so we do two, three minus position um, two, which is one. When it's actually an E, we just put zero because it's no distance away. So for these E's, you're going to see two zeros. Uh, this L is close closest to both E's, so it's just one away from both of those. Um, this T is one away from this E. This C is one. Here's here's uh, you have to do the closest because see this see this C. The C is two away from this E, but it is one, two, three away from this E. So you got to make sure that you're putting the closest version of it. So you got the T is one away, and then the C is two away, not three. And then same thing with the O. The O is one, two, three away, but we're going to put two because it's one, two away from that. Okay, so I think you understand. Not too difficult. Um, how do we do this, right? How do we do this efficiently, fast? So you obviously have to loop through the string, character by character. We have an array. It's going to be the same size as the string, right? Same, because each letter has a distance from the letter we're looking for. So if this is uh, size 12, then this array is going to be size 12 as well. Um, and uh, how do we do it then? So you might think like, okay, we loop through character by character, but we don't know how far away the E is. So what do we do? Do we get all the positions of E and store them in an array or something and then look, you know, loop through the string and say, hey, where's the closest E? No, that's going to be way too slow. Use extra space. Uh, do we loop through the string and then once we find an E, we do an inner loop and then we do all the positions of the ones up to that E? No, that's a bad idea as well. Also slow. Um, here's what you do. We're looping through the string and we want to... Here's what you need to know is once you see an E, you know the index of that E when you're going to the right. Let's just say we're looping to the right here. We find an E. We know the position. We can now set the distance for any letter after that E that we've seen. So we're going to keep a variable to keep track of the last E that we've seen. And we're going to say, okay, we saw an E at index 3. Okay, now we now this isn't an E, so we'll just do the distance from that index. So, you know, we put 1. Uh, this is 0. We put 1 for the L. Now we found a new E, 0 again, and we update the index to 5, 6, and we update the index, put 0. And then, what is this distance from 6? 1. What is this distance from... Or you just update it, and you keep checking the distance. When you go to the right, and then this is one away from the last D. This is two away from the last D. This is three away from the last D. Four away from the last D. And then we found another E, and we put a zero. And then you go, and you do a backwards loop, and you just repeat the same thing, and you take the minimum distance. So when you go backwards, you're um, you're also looking at these E's, keeping an index of the last D seen. And you're taking the minimum of the values already in the array. 
So let's code it out and then let's go through this example. Uh, hopefully that made sense, but um, we'll just go through the example so you really understand. So n we're gonna set to be length of the string, just so we use it as a variable and make everything easier. Uh, output array is equal to new int array of size n. Um, we're also gonna have you know c position as the last seen uh, instance of c. And we're setting it to negative n because that's negative length of the array in the character has to be in or length negative length of the string because in the character has to be in the string so uh, it's a good variable to set um, to fill our array um, so we're gonna loop through the we're gonna loop through the string now so n is the length of the string so we'll just do that count of for loop we'll say okay if s dot char at i is equal to the character we're looking for well we found the last instance of it and we'll set that to i Otherwise, we will fill our output array with i minus c position. Boom. That's our loop. That's our first loop where we go through, we find the c positions, and then we do the current index minus the last seen e. Okay, great. Now we have all those values filled in our array. Now we're going to go backwards. So i is equal to n minus 1. i is greater than or equal to 0. i minus minus. Boom. Now we do the same exact thing here. Boom, if we check the last instance of the C position again, and this time we set it output array of I, but there's a little bit of a difference. You do math.minimum, because we already have some values in this array of whatever is currently in the array, because that was the distance last time on our first loop, and the math.abs of I minus c position and that's it and then you can return your output array and i'm going to go through an example and explain everything so um what is going on here class or interface what the he oh this is not good for the submission and uh i minus c position is not allowed because we need to specify the index of the array there you go, so it passes. Now let's explain it. So here's what's going on in this example. We're looping through, here we go. So we have lovely code and we have ease. So our, we initialize our array. We get the length of the array, we initialize our array. This fills an array of size 12 in this case with a bunch of zeros. So step one, initialize array. So we have an array of a bunch of zeros. Great, the posi C position is set to some negative value, negative length of the array. Um, and we're looping through the string and we're going to set the posi C position when we see it. As for now, it's negative n. So we have output array is equal to index minus C position. So we're looping through. On our first sweep, we're doing, okay, we haven't seen an E, so it's, you know, 0 minus 12, negative 12, 1 minus 12, negative 11, 1 minus, uh, or 2 minus 12, negative 10. And then we see an E. Now when we see an E in our first loop, we set the C position to 3 because we that's position three that we saw the e in right and we saw we now we do index minus that position and index is three at this point so we do three minus three and we get zero okay last e we saw is at three now we're at index four four minus three um that is one and then we do we update the position five five minus five zero six minus six zero and uh c position is six now with the last e we saw um 7 minus 6, 1, 8 minus 6, 2, 9 minus 6, 3, 10 minus 6, 4, and then we find E at index 11, and we reset the C position, and then you do 11 minus 11 is 0. Great. Uh, so now your array looks like this, which is kind of wrong, but it's got some of the right answers. And what else we're going to do? We're going to do a second sweep, and we're going to go backwards. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to start. Sorry, my phone's ringing. We're going to go, let me just disable this, god damn. Um, we're going to go backwards and we're going to say, okay, um, do the same thing. We're setting the C position, but we're setting the minimum because we already have some of the values that are right, right? So we have the values to the right. We want to find the values to the left. Um, so we do backwards through this array and we say, okay, math.minimum of the current values in there because we want to find the minimum distance. So the distance to the right of the last E scene, if that's closer than the distance to the left of the last E scene, we want that. 
whatever one is closer to, if you're going to the right, if the last one to the right is closer than the last one to the left, you want the last one to the right, and vice versa. So you just take the minimum of the current value and the absolute value of i minus position, because we're starting from the end, and we're subtracting, um, it would be neg these would be negative values if you didn't do math dot absolute value. So you have to do, um, you know, from 11, you set E to 11 at first, C, last C son was at position 11, then you're at position 10, so you do 10 minus 11, but that would be negative one, so you have to take math.abs. And you do it vice versa, you take the minimums of all the values, and then in the end, you end up with this. So, um, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry, my uh, mom was calling me, but uh, I think I explained it pretty well. Let me know if you guys think. Uh, I'll try not to get interrupted in this stuff anymore, but... Uh, no, it's all good. Just got to calm down. But, I mean, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate everyone that supports me. And let me know if you have any questions. I think that it makes sense. So, all right. Check you guys later. See you guys next time.